Warning, this video is going to be raw. I came across this YouTuber and I watched her video and the title of the video, let me go back to this video, hold on. Okay, so the video is called, I don't think YouTube is for me and quitting. And when I first saw it, I kind of thought it was clickbait, but still the title, it grabbed me and I wanted to check it out. Uh, she looks like she's a really small YouTuber. By the way, this lady's name is and I could be messing this up, Adekimi Isamoto. I watched the video, and it was a nice video straight from the heart, um, and I really connected with it, and I actually left a comment down here. I said, I want to help her figure out what she's doing wrong so she can grow on YouTube. And just to be clear, you guys, I'm considered what you may call a small YouTuber too, but I haven't even thought about quitting. Um, I've had my good days and bad days like any other human being or anyone who's trying to pursue something online, whether it be with YouTube, or whether it be an online business, affiliate marketing, anything, you're going to have lows and highs. But I've been doing this for a number of years now. Well, I know even though I may feel a little discouraged, or a little confused or frustrated that if I quit, I definitely never reach my goals. So for every problem, there is a solution. And I want to take this time on this video to help this person in particular and to help them find and understand and identify progress to keep them motivated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to audit her channel on this YouTube video right here and show her some things, some easy fixes that are, that won't cost her any money that she can fix herself to help her start speeding up the progress of her getting her goals and to help her see the progress happening right before her eyes so she won't feel like she's not making any progress and feel like quitting. But if you guys are just coming to my YouTube channel, hi, my name is Ronnie, aka Dad Learns Money. I started from the bottom just like you guys. Some years back, I lost my job and I have a wife and five kids. Eventually, we ended up being homeless, living in our car. And during that time was when I had to figure out something in order to pull my family out of our financial woes. And one of the ways I did that was affiliate marketing. After going through numerous other ways, trying to find a way to for us to make money online. Um, I did Forex, I did <laughs> network marketing, I did drop shipping, I did real estate, everything under the sun, but I had my biggest success with digital marketing and affiliate marketing. So I'm gonna dive into this video because one of the one of the best platforms that you can start getting the word out and start creating some income for yourself is YouTube. Alongside all the other platforms, I still believe that YouTube is the most stable, but a lot of people get discouraged because it's one of the most hardest to succeed on. But the thing is, how I approach this whole game with YouTube, I'm not approaching the game of YouTube or using the YouTube platform in order for me to reach new financial success, all right? Me growing on YouTube is considered a bonus. I approach YouTube for me as a platform to help people discover me. That's it. All right, so I don't focus so hard on subscribers. I don't focus so hard on views. Even my lowest view videos are still successful. Whether I get someone's email, maybe they purchase a low ticket product, or maybe they purchase a high ticket product, and the video might have had less than 100 views. Okay, so it all, it, it all depends on what you look at as successful. Because right now, I'm currently not monetized on YouTube. YouTube doesn't pay me any money. I haven't achieved all my hours of watch time. I have made it over a thousand subscribers through some videos that were highly successful and attracted a lot of viewers to me. And when that happened, it increased my sales directly from the YouTube platform because I track all my links as well. But along the way, as I've been growing on YouTube, I've still been having success. I've been maintaining anywhere from four to five figures from my small YouTube channel. OK, so I'm going to show you what I learned and what I'm using to help this person right here on her YouTube channel and how you could probably use it for yourself as well so that you can start promoting yourself more effectively on YouTube. So whenever when anybody finds your video, especially if it's a good video um, and she's had a number of videos right here, if you look here, she has one for seven uh, important YouTube settings you should turn on one point six. And this is going to be normal because doing videos like this, you're where those people, you're on the platform where all those people gather to learn more about YouTube. So if you do a video on YouTube, it's almost natural. You may not get 5 million views or 5,000 views all the time, but you would, you will see a nice increase in views because that's what people are searching for 
on this platform that want to be YouTubers, okay? And the same goes if you was trying to teach somebody how to get go viral on TikTok or whatever. So you have to understand that. So I don't really, I don't really look at those videos as successful, even though they are successful, because that's that's normal uh, on this platform. Typically, anybody can do that. But I, my question is, when you do that, is that in your overall purpose for this channel? Or are we just chasing trends, okay? But um, she does have some videos overall that did well. If you notice right here, you see this was about YouTube. This was about YouTube, four ways to create fake backgrounds. And she actually talks about this video in that video I showed you first about where she's thinking about quitting. We're going to come back to this particular part of all her content and whatever in a minute. First, I want to do this audit. The first thing, and in this video, this video right here, she talks about all these things. She talks about accountability. She talks about her niche. She talks about how she got started and everything, which is a real good video. So you guys check that out. But this is what's happening, okay? Because we're putting out these different types of videos or whatever, the people who watch that video can see, listen, we're, we're attracting so many different people. Not everybody is trying to so-called just be a full-time YouTube creator. They're just using YouTube for their business, which this video will help you out as well. And there are some people that want to be YouTubers. They want to be content creators for YouTube. They want to be monetized by YouTube. So they're going to click on videos like this. But what you have to understand is on, on her page or her profile, her channel, it's not a just it's not just about YouTube. So these videos are a little bit older, right? But if you look, she says my first YouTube video, makeup, fake YouTube background, okay? Make the best of 24, get up and start your YouTube journey. Reset my realistic goals right here. So this is kind of mindset. Then we're back to like YouTube stuff. Adobe podcast, make trash audio sound like here. And I and I know she's following trends because I've seen a lot of these videos because I'm always trying to approve my videos on YouTube as well. All right. <laughs> Must have five twos new YouTuber. So it kind of like she switched gears from makeup to, okay, I'm going to use YouTube. I'm going to talk more about YouTube. That's what's trending. That's what's growing my audience. That's what's getting me more views, which is natural and logical. But if that's what you're not, if that's not what you're trying to do overall for your channel, it's okay to give small tips like this, but you want to relate it back to your niche. All right. And, and we're going to get into that. All right. But I want you to see how we, how we're changing right here. All right. So this person is clicking on a video, like how to sound like a pro. We have to follow the step of what we call our customer journey. Okay. So this customer she attracted is somebody who's interested and making better content, all right? So that's their first introduction. That's how they're being introduced to um, this, this content creator, Adekimi Isamotu. <laughs> and they come to her page, and then they look, all right, to see more videos, especially if that video is a good video to them, which is, uh, if, it's go if it's going semi-viral, um, it's doing pretty well. So those people are watching it, most of it, and they want to come check out your content. And then when they come here, they're a little bit confused. Okay. Right here on your top, on your channel art, it has your name. Um, but there's nothing about what your channel is solely about. Nothing. Okay. And and, I, and I'm telling you from experience because uh, I when I landed here, I wasn't sure either. Okay. Um, another thing, this is, a, you might think it's a little picky, but this stuff does matter. Um, your, your background and your name doesn't have any contrast. Okay. So your name <laughs> blends into that background and then the background you use doesn't resonate with anybody unless you're, you're a traveler or a truck driver or something like that. You want to pick something that is going to resonate with them as well, or just go solid. All right. If you don't know. All right, so I would have used, if you're sure, just use a solid background with contrasting colors of your name. But what you also want to do is you want to put what your channel is about. So let me show you in a minute. All right, so this is a YouTuber who's been putting out similar videos to what you've been putting out. Matter of fact, I think he's one of the guys that started this trend because he kind of went, he kind of blew up super fast. Um, from under a hundred under a hundred subscribers, I think, and then he did the fake studio video, and he kind of took off. But anyway, 
This is his channel, Victor Smith. He's at 14, almost 15,000 subscribers with only 16 videos. All right. So when you notice and you know who you're talking about, right? And this is what you want to create your content and grow your channel from. This is how this is what you're going to use to these, these are the people you want to market to in your business. All right. You're going to be able to be consistent with that. And if you watch his content, you can see this is something he's really passionate about, really knowledgeable about. And this is what everybody is coming to his channel for, to learn these things that are tied into YouTube. But look at his channel art, his channel banner, or whatever we call it. You see, he has the back uh, ground. The background is kind of grayed out, but you can see a hint of the YouTube uh, or the video camera back there, um, the workstation. But he says, grow with me. That right there is very powerful because he has a small channel and he's teaching all these other YouTubers that were or are as small as he is how to grow on YouTube. All right. Has his name. Okay. Real, real broad, but people get it when they land there. All right. So imagine that those videos and I show you his video. Okay. So here's that video right here. This is his, this studio is fake. As you can see, he got 200, almost 280,000 views on this video six months ago. And then what he did, he just followed up with the same similar content. All right. But he's consistent with that content. All right. He's talking about YouTube. All right, look, he even did one, the studio light is fake, all right? Top hot paying niches on YouTube. But look look what happens when he um, changes gears, all right? And this is pretty successful, and I think it's really, it's gotten up that high because he has a lot more subscribers now. So when he drops a new video, more people are being notified than when, it, than when he first started, all right? But still, there's a significant drop from when he does, he tries something different. And it's okay to try something different. He's still tying it into YouTube. But look, he was mainly more tech stuff. Fake background, talking about lighting, all right? He did it here with audio and studio. He did it here with the tools he's using. He did another fake background, but he's talked about using CapCut. Um, then he tells how he grow, he's grow, he's documenting his success about YouTube, telling people what he did, and he's telling people what his plan to win. As you as you can see, he's kind of changing, all right, all right. And then five free stock videos. He goes back to the tech, create viral automated faces videos. This is a different niche, even though it's YouTube. But you look what happens when he changes. All right. This is a different type of people. These people are coming here mainly for the tech stuff on how to look and sound better on YouTube. Right. They may not be so concerned about going faceless. OK. But then he changes gears for those people who goes there, which is fine. All right. It's OK to test some stuff. But this is why these things happen. And then we come back here. Easy way to create and edit YouTube videos on your phone like a pro. He goes back to tech. He's back to tech. Then he goes niches, he drops down, and then he tells people how he's finally monetized on YouTube, all right? Because people are growing with him, all right, and being monetized and telling your progress from how he went from 461 to 9,000 followers or subscribers, these people are interested in how he did that as well, alongside the tech stuff, all right? So I want you to understand that. All right, second, when we go into her uh, bio, so she has her at. All right, my name is uh, Adekimi, 538, 56 videos. And look, look at what happens. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and most, most importantly, subscribe. All right, right now it's me, 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 me. Hey, you're here. Help me out, okay? We are not looking for charity. We are not looking for handouts. Why should I subscribe to your channel, okay? People know about subscribing. They're going to do that anyway. You don't even have to ask them or tell them or mention it. If your content is about the stuff they're interested in, because your content is going to help them. So the first thing you want to do is tell them why they should follow you. And because if they follow you, they're going to get more content based off this because this is going to help them. All right, now it's fine to have your other uh, social media stuff. That's fine too. But right here in this, if they don't see that here, you need to definitely have it here. All right, and I'll show you back with my friend. He has it here, but watch this. Learn how I improve my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, and make money in the process. I share YouTube beginner-friendly tips and tricks and break them down. All right, that's why you should follow me. 
All right. And that's why people are following him and he backs it up with his content. So they're not understanding here what you're about, even though they came here for one of your videos. They don't clearly see it here. All right. And then they don't clearly see it here. Is she YouTube? Is she makeup? Is she fashion? OK, even when we go to your shorts. OK, look. All we see is this. OK, this is what they're seeing. They see the titles. Right here, the makeup of uh, perfect natural look combo, quick and easy, affordable and effective skincare products, clove and rosemary, how to do easy sleek. So these are your older videos, but let's go up to your recent. So these are your more recent right here. Gets me the best dress, my boredom. Should I have a show for my little work poses? Baggy jeans, a black woman doing her thing. So I came here about YouTube. I don't care about fashion, okay? And I'm just telling you from my experience. OK, I came to your channel because you seem like a YouTuber and a small YouTuber. And you could probably give me some tips based off your, your, where you are. All right. Even if I have more subscribers than that person, they could probably still help me in some type of way because stuff is changing and even I can't keep up with it. So if this person learns something and I feel like they're in the same uh, trenches uh, where I am in a small YouTuber realm, I'm going to pay attention. Right. And even you, even if you had that video, I'm thinking about quitting. I want to see what's making you quitting me. So I won't quit. All right. I want to hear your story. But one, the reason I went and subscribed because, OK, she just had that moment. All her videos. She's not really a YouTuber. So I'm not I don't really want to follow this channel because I'm not into fashion, uh, fashion and makeup. I definitely don't wear dresses, you people. All right. So that is what we want to fix. All right. Secondly. All right, you had a viral video, and this is something we all need to make sure we have in store. All right, so let's go back. This is your this is one of your viral videos, not super crazy viral, but I think it was a real good video. All right, I'm gonna look at your score over here. Your score is a 15 on two, buddy. I don't know if you use that or not. If you don't use it, I highly suggest it. It's free, but I if you're if you really want to be a serious YouTube creator, at a I, I recommend that you upgrade because they have a lot of tools that can help you. All right, now you have your time steps. You have chapters. That's good. I actually use them myself to jump through the video. You have your description. All that stuff help you with SEO to probably get to where you are uh, right now with this video. What you are missing, okay, you don't have any links here. All right, let's say this video blew up to 500,000 views. You have no links here, nowhere, from your fashion, from your makeup. You don't even have Amazon links. You don't have no product links. You don't have your website. You don't have any way to collect uh, your viewers' information, especially for those people who are highly interested in something that you're talking about and want to learn more from you or get more from you. There's no way for them to do that in your video. All right? It looks like you're just solely depending on YouTube monetizing you. And right now is the best time for you to start putting product links, digital products, um, affiliate links, or something down in your YouTube script, YouTube subscription, all right, to where you can monetize your channel now. All right, so let's go back to my friend. This is his first video, all right? He knows I'm going to be talking about this on my content. Even if I don't have my own store, he has affiliate links he's giving them some prompts he's helping them out he's doing what he says all right so in this video he's giving them prompts to use to create his background but look he has amazon he has his cap cut link he has the screen recorder link his audio enhancer affiliate link amazon link for the microphone microphone two microphone three all right so let's go back to your video nothing all right you could have put your affiliate link for this right here for your little microphone, which sounds great. If you're doing makeup, you could talk about the makeup or the wardrobe you're talking in that video right here. The head wrap, the camera that you're using to film this, everything, the software that you use, TubeBuddy, vidIQ, the recording, the editing software that you edited this video, so much stuff could have went, in, could have went down in your YouTube description. All right, off of this video. All right, so 4,000 people 
500 views, 4,500 views, and you there's nothing you can capitalize off of this from. All right. And I went and checked our other one. So I, I this is your most recent recent one right here. Let's see if we change that. All right, look. It's just more video, it's just more of you promoting the rest of your content. All right, look right here. Video shot. You have it and don't even have your Amazon associate link or some type of affiliate link. All right, so you're you're making that company rich and you probably sent them there. You're making this company rich and you probably sent them there. Okay? What are we doing? We can make money from our platform right now. If nothing motivates you, money will motivate you. So if you're feeling like quitting, you're feeling like nothing is happening, go look at your bank account. <laughs> All right, but now we'll never know because you're not um leaving, you're not uh putting nothing out there for those people to make purchases from you. Okay, right off the bat. Okay, YouTube is secondary. We're using YouTube to make us money. So you have to take advantage of all the features of that platform and have your own strategy behind it to where you can monetize YouTube without being monetized on YouTube. That is very, very possible. All right, so let's go back to your channel. All right, so the first thing is there is no clarity. We need clarity. Don't, um, when you have clarity, that's going to enable you to be more consistent with your content, all right? Because you're talking to these specific groups of people. And it don't have to be narrow all the way down to the T, but overall, you need to be talking to these people. Makeup is totally different from YouTube content. Sound is totally different from money. Make money online. Tech stuff. Those tech guys don't care about making money. They just care about the tech, okay? So first you want you have to sit down with yourself. Which one am I most passionate about? If you're picking something just for the money, then you're going to you're going to get burnt out and you're going to feel discouraged because you don't really enjoy talking about tech stuff on YouTube. It's a lot of work to learn more about tech stuff on YouTube so that you can talk about it and create content around it. All right. You want to do something that's easy and effortless to you that you can sit down and talk about on YouTube on contact without without having to prepare all right something that you're passionate about something that you're most knowledgeable about something that you enjoy doing and you have a solution to those people's problem it don't have to be a major solution but perhaps you know how to um do makeup uh and make yourself look like a cover model in five minutes on a budget and this is how you do it i'm just throwing out stuff off the top of my head all right so this was my basic fundamental audit okay on this particular channel. I love to work with you guys. I actually reached out to her. Um, I hope I've been saying your name right. If this actually helped you, reach out to me. And I hope this helps any and everybody who's trying to do something on YouTube with their business. This is what you have to pay attention to. My ultimate advice after that is, once you have all that information, you have those things set in order, all right, then you just have to be consistent and patient as you're doing it, all right? And then you want to just analyze your results as you go as you go. And not everything is views. Don't look at because that video flopped, it got five, it got 500 or 400 or 100 views that you did bad. Look, look deeper. All right. Maybe you collect the emails. Maybe you got a low ticket sale. Um, maybe your email list is growing. Okay. Maybe you're getting comments. Okay. <laughs> All of those things are letting you know that you're on the right path to success in your business, okay? And it's going to compound as long as you keep delivering your end of it, which is the content. You be consistent. That's the basic formula for this, guys. I hope this helps you. Go check out any of my other content if you want to learn how to do this on a deeper level. I also have my own courses where I break all this down on not just YouTube, but all the other platforms. You could pretty much use them the same way, even though they have their different um, formalities on each platform. The overall framework works on any platform that you, uh, that you use. All right, so that's going to be my time, guys. Stay blessed, and I'll see you on the other side of success.